Hi, welcome back. We are here live at Stunfest 2016 here in the heart of France, Rennes. Uh, we are about to kick into top 16. We've got a few matches left to play in loser's bracket as well. Yep. However, most of the winners have been determined. Uh, we are going to be running the entirety of top eight winners and losers on stream for you tomorrow right here on Capcom Fighters. But right now you can see the players are getting ready on that main stage. Thousands are in attendance right here at Stunfest and we'll let you tell you a little bit about Stunfest. It's not, just, it's not just a fighting games event in the slightest. In fact, fighting games don't even make up probably 10% of, of what Stunfest is all about. It's a gaming festival here that they hold. Retro in gaming Rennes. to be precise. Yeah, they play all sorts of indie games, um, loads of retro games and speed running and all that kinds of cool stuff. And about 20,000 people come through this uh, Le Liberté Stadium, uh, which is one of the largest complexes here in Rennes, which is a major city in France. And they just watch people play games all weekend. Um, um, we've been here since Friday and of course we've been playing through the bracket here on Capcom Fighters all day um, we are looking to narrow it all the way down to the final eight now and I believe we'll be running through that on stream you can see there on stage Zhao Hai I don't know who he's Mr. going Crimson. up against Mr. Crimson <coughs> gets a little close-up shot there the kid who on has Q. been signed to arguably to replace Luffy on Meltdown I see, I see Evans, in, Evans the background? in the background as well <laughs> Um, handshake of respect. I'm not sure who Mr. Crimson is going to use for this matchup. It probably will be Cami from Shao Hai. And then you can see uh, Lord, Ken Bogart on the stage on his own doing his live commentary as is his style. Energy, <coughs> yeah. oh, and some fellow wearing a interesting <laughs> beanie as well. So he's gone for Sim. We saw him break out his Sim a little bit earlier and it looked quite competent, competent to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. Looked like he knew what he was Cammy. doing. Maybe that's his pick full yep. time now. Maybe the Laura's been dropped. All right, we're going to get into this, guys. Stunfest 2016. Don't forget, make sure you Winter share the side. link. Let everybody know that we are live broadcasting to you directly oh, here on the Capcom Fighters channel. Fight. And we will be working our way all the way down to top wow. eight. The sweep on the reset. Name's Shall the wrong I. way around, by the way. We'll sort that out for you, though. Nice punish. What? Surely he didn't mean to do that. Oh, he didn't know side he was on, stayed in front, what around here from Xiao Hai. You've got to be able to block that mix up if you want to survive against Kami. He doesn't. Not a huge Ooh. amount of depth to Kami's mix up, like it's pretty straightforward. Um, it just plays the mechanics of the game. Frames, side switches. Wow, the Rago teleport in the middle of, middle of play. Oh! That was ambitious, bro. <laughs> Sorry, a little distraction there in the background, right, guys. There right, we go. Nice dash up, punishes the fireball. A lot of recovery on that. Doesn't, have, doesn't seem to have the answers right now. Yeah, it's not looking oh, like man. this sim pick is the one. No V trigger, no way out, no answer. That's unfortunate. Very solid from Xiao Hai. Zero respect there <coughs> for Mr. Crimson's sim. And if he's going to change this around, he better do it quickly because he's one game down here. I, I I'd like to see Laura. I think yeah, that I was just going to say I'm for not, Kami, you know? I'm not so sure if he's health. full time with sim. Oh, well, he's gone back with sim yeah, anyway. Yeah. Well, I think he's full time with sim because I don't think there's. Oh, what, is he? No, who's going to go to Laura? He's gone back to Shua. I would. Personage. I wouldn't. I wouldn't not pick Laura against Kami. I wouldn't feel like, oh, that's a matchup I don't 900 stun, uh, 900 health. I am... Highest damage and stun combos in the game. Yeah, exactly. So you need you need, you need need one good hit with some EX bar. One reversal DP and you could probably, probably one around. Yeah. You, beat you know? It's going to go with Laura. I would have liked to see this at the start. Uh, maybe it's not too late. Xiao Hai will have uh, arguably more options up close because Dao Sim's always got the, Dao, the, the teleport to think about. Yeah, this one goes. Round one. Mr. Crimson whipping out the character that got him that, that first CPT victory. Oh man, starts off pretty badly there with a jump in then. A throw baited. Great start here from Xiao Hai. Gets the counter hit dive kick. Face out another again. throw. Looking very solid right now. No yeah. neutral jump for you. Yes, a lucky throw though to slow things down. Good bait, you oh, do not do go. that against her. This is really gonna hurt. 
big damage here. Oh, oh just reverse was that. Smashed it both ways. Wow. Oh, That's it. Oh, and again, every <laughs> single throw bait worked. He got shimmied to death. Look at that health bar, yeah. though, she, lost she lost over 50% for one bad mistake. <laughs> That's the matchup. He just needs to be not as proactive with the throw techs. I think it's why mastering the OS throw option select um, tech jump stuff is, is so important in this game. It just frees you up from that risk. Yeah, it's such a big risk with the throw. Nicely spaced down that light kick into EX. Got the meaty! Oh, what a link! <laughs> and converts. Beautiful play there from Mr. Crimson. Xiaohai not respecting the, the plus frames. Yeah, you have to be very aware of the frame advantage that Laura is able to put herself at. Oh wow. And again, he almost got blown up for throwing. That stand light kick is really helping out. It's got a really nice horizontal hitbox on it. Oh, nice. Oh, gets a cross up. Oh, oh big bait. She's going to take so much damage 40%. here. Oh, stayed in front. Oh, she does it again. DPs. I can't believe he went for that DP again. That was the round. That's twice. He's just had nothing to do with the mix up and just mashed his DP out. Finally, no pro tech whiffing. Gets away with that jump in. Activates. Tries to bait out something. Oh, nice wow. EX grab. Big damage as well. Oh, what a conversion! Shanghai's gonna rob it! He's taking it 2-0 over Mr. Crimson! I didn't even seem to do too much wrong there. Maybe try to hold back or something as he... Up back, sorry, as he did that elbow. Even when meaty, she's still minus. And that jab was so beautifully no converted. No hit, was he? Just got hit. Just got hit, yeah. Great play from Shanghai. <laughs> Just when Mr. Crimson... But as you saw there, had he gone with Laura from the start, you've got to wonder how things may have turned out differently. Well, it's too late for that now. Mr. Crimson still in the tournament. Drops into the loser's bracket. Guess I can update you guys on some incredible results we've had yeah, already. Yeah, let's go through some of the stuff that's happened earlier on in the bracket in pools because we were making some notes and some exceptional uh, results. So yeah, staying with Mr. Crimson there. We see that Mr. Crimson, to get to where he got to, had beaten Nuki and Human Bomb. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, he was he's still in the winner's side because he's beaten some giants already today. Loser's side, yeah. Yeah, he's in the, sorry, he's still in the tournament. Though. Yeah. Then you got Human Bomb beat Bonchan 2-0 very early in the tournament. Yeah. Didn't know about that. Then he lost to Mr. Crimson, and then Nuki knocked out Human Bomb. So Human Bomb's also out. Um, you also got Problem X eliminated by KX earlier today. Yeah. 2-0. Uh, KX took out Piccolo and a few other giants on his way, uh, using Alex exclusively. Yeah. Uh, to create those uh, those results, he just lost to Luffy in the losers' final. So Luffy, uh, I think, lost to Ata. 2-0 and he's in the losers bracket able to beat KX though in the losers final to stay in the tournament so he's still in there so he's in the top 16 2 has been eliminated I mean we didn't even get to see that guy after no. his fantastic performance in America uh, a fella called NW54 NWA54 yeah has eliminated 2 from the tournament uh, what else is there that I've picked up here I think that's that's most of it there's loads of other results guys if you go on the bracket uh, that's what we could find in a short space of time we had but my word, it's a bloodbath already. I cannot believe the heads that are already rolling here today as we approach this top six. Well, look, most of the names that we expected to be still figuring in are still here, but I think Bonchan's got to be the, the biggest shot for me. Yeah, look really solid at Rebel Kumite. Um, I don't know who we've got setting up now. I can't see. Uh, if we can see the stage, that'd be great. Um, Kazunoko pop over. I don't know who his opponent is. Kazunoko will be the Kami. Who is the Ryu? Can we see the stage? Let's get the game going. Okay, here we go. Fight. Man? Yep. Okay. Momochi using Ryu. Wow. Momochi, of course... Uh, no, they are not up. inspecting the, um, the schedule. That's why I, I messed up, sorry. Oh, it's Tokido, Kazunoko. Ah, oh, okay, that makes sense. <coughs> Kido the favourite today, living up to the expectations so far, here in the winner's bracket. Good start from Kazunoko, nice reaction there to that fireball. Oh, the priority oh, on that. Bait. Just do it, activate that V-trigger. Almost gone already, can't be done anything with it. 
close this round out. Punish that fireball. Nice jump. Kazunoko, well close. Really, that one out well. Really patient pressure from Kazunoko. It was it was like incessant pressure, but he'd never overextended himself. Just poking away. I really like that. Made Takedo feel safe to throw that fireball. Just the way he kept stuttering, stuttering, stuttering around. He jumped it just as it came out. Featuring Great start to this round, though. Again. Yeah, just raw activation. I'm really missing a, a valuable hit confirm, I feel. But maybe he feels like the fireball game is so frustrating against Ryu that he just... Just feels the need to go into V Trigger mode. Oh, nice. Like to see that V skill getting parried. Nice. Rounds equaled up. I feel like moves that telegraph themselves from long distance yeah. should always, at some point, I feel like every Ryu will just be parrying him for free. You know, I, I, I believe that would be the case. As we, as we develop into the game and stuff becomes. Uh, more muscle memory. Mm. Nice DP. For example, Harry there would have blown that up. Oh wow! Not having any Get of that walking. Nice jab interruption. Remember Takeda, one of the favourites here today. Oh, guess no, what? That time. Super! Lost him. I think he's dead. That's the round. That's got to be the round. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Great play from Kazunoko. He moves into a 1 0 lead here against today's favorite. <sighs> Fantastic confirm and super. I wonder what put him off of anti air in there. Did he just not react? No, no, he kind of stopped for a second, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. I think maybe he thought it was going to be one of those, those baits. You know, she does those like, short ones that bait mm. you. Because you saw him do the buffer. You saw him kind of crouch buffer, all right? But then nothing came out. Then he got and caught low. And he stood up low. and got caught low. 1-0 Kazunoko. I mean, this is a guy who who I think is yet to shine in this game. I think he's better than his performances have let on. So I w it wouldn't be a big upset. I think Kami's a bit too of an honest character in this game for a lot of people. I don't think she's a weak character by any means at all. I just think she's very honest. Nice fireball poke game here. Face out that jump in. The stunner DP does come. Nice. This is me. He gets punished whipping that medium. That's for a reset. Well blocked. Nice. We exactly what I was talking about. And the big punish as oh, well. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Nice tick throw. Close this out. Oh, nice bait. Tokido takes will it. Will let those fly. He's got no hesitations. Throw out those reversals. Four of matchups coming up for you guys. Good grief. Oh, beautiful interruption into the fireball into the super. Great start this round here from Takedo. Again, just a raw activation there from Kazunoko. Just to shut down that fireball game somewhat. Well punished. Nice punish. Beautiful and play again. there. Really great awareness of the ranges that he's at. Confirmations. Really? Lovely confirm. Was that a medium crouch medium or did that count here? Is that, is that usually link? I think it linked. Crouch medium, stand medium. Let me check the that. Bible. Round one. Lovely play there. Fight. This time he interrupts it. Punished there with that poorly spaced sweep. Kazunoko trying to go in now. Beautifully angled jump. Beats the cross cut attempt. No. Oh, base out of the reversal. Oh, it must have been a medium. Yeah. Even more awareness. Yeah, that's awesome from Takeda. The timing on that. Safe jump. Ah, oh, beautiful. There's just no answer right now from Kazunoko. He tried to steamroll Takeda at the start of that round. Ended up blowing up in his face as he got thrown into the corner. And now it's match point Takeda. Takeda is flowing right now. He looks so comfortable. He looks so in control. Oh, beautiful. Anticipating frustration there, sticking out that occupying space, as you like to say, Logan. I love that term. That's exactly what it is. <coughs> and Stan like it's got such good recovery. See, they stuck it out there to occupy space, and the dark kick came out, still didn't punish him. Wow, wake up forward jump! He wasn't ready for that at all! Kazunoko needs to get something going here. Gets a back throw. Misses his... Oh, no, super! 
Wasn't confident. Can chip. Oh, he gets the throw. Tokido's going to take it. And the favorite continuing to do what we expect him to do here today. <laughs> Send in Kazunoko to the loser's bracket. Winning that one 2 1. Great play there from Tokido. Making his way comfortably through the brackets mm. continually. And he really has to be the favorite to, if not, you know, just make it to the finals. Take the whole thing today. Yeah, yeah absolutely. He's been head and shoulders above everyone else alongside Infiltration for the duration of the tour so far. Absolutely. Those two players are playing on a level beyond what everyone else is doing right now, in my opinion. And he's uh, pushing Infiltration as well. It's not like yeah. Infiltration is so far ahead of him. He can't he's not catch just him. tagging along. He's at pushing all. him. You know, he really, really came close to making that a closer set there at Red Bull Kumite we saw recently. So yeah, I think he's the standout favourite, but we do have some Round talents one. in the losers bracket, like Daigo and, and Luffy, who have been in great form. I don't want to like harp on about it, but it's, it's 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 still reminiscent of last year. Of we were on commentary last year, and just player after player would come through onto the stage that you'd completely forget was even here. Yeah. You know, there's yeah, so same. many killers here this year as well, and they're all fighting it out in in, in losers um, right now. Of course. You know, an abundance of great players in, in winners still at the moment as well. Um, looking forward to seeing Fudo um, reach Tokido. I think that'll definitely be an exciting uh, match. I think those two players are probably on top of their games today. Yeah, I kind of predicted earlier of my own accord that I think those two will make a... Uh, why are you laughing? Why, why, is he laughing? why is he laughing, guys? It was my, it was my guess, all right? If he makes it, it was me who said it. Right? Tokido versus Fudo. And uh, in, um, if you go on my Twitter, you'll see that I predicted that to be the finals today. Uh, you know, so so no one can say that I stole the idea from anyone else. Clearly, you know, my thoughts are my own, as it says on my Twitter page. So. Yeah, I think that could be the most likely final we see today because uh, Fudo just looks brilliant. Just He just looks so good. Um, the way he plays Miko is just so different and so much more honest than everyone else is, which makes you think that's not effective, buddy. You're playing all wrong. But at the same time, he does have that go crazy, you know, come on, grab the hell out of you. Momentum in him. <coughs> so Momochi versus Atar. The Kens have been blowing it up worldwide. We have got one hell of a mirror match here for you guys. I actually watched these. Oh, what just happened? Oh no! Can you guys? I see can't it? see anything Can at the all. Can see anything? I can't see anything at all, Val. We've lost. Fight. Gonna start without commentary. I can't see nothing. At least put it on for the stream, guys. Can the stream not see it, Val. Hang on. Bear with us, guys. Sorry about this. Shit. Uh, the stream chat can see what's going on. You want to tell me what's going on? I can't see nothing. Okay. All right. And he's off again. Oh, no, okay. There we go. We are back. We are alive. What was that? A DP? That was a DP from a Ken. Well, no, no, no. Wait a second. Did he just dash up and DP him on his own wake up? <laughs> oh, no, that wasn't my one That had to be Ata. That was Ata. That was definitely Ata. Only a a Yeah, it was Ata. I knew it. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Rago run into throw from Ata again. I did watch a set with these guys play um, a couple weeks back. Really interesting. A lot. Of, learned a lot of stuff. Wake up, sweep. Wake up, DP. Burns the meter to make it safe. Thrown out so up. much unsafe stuff, Ata. But oh, and again, he just goes for the raw run at that range. Man, he's he's just all over him. It's not really giving him a reason not to. Um, challenge though like he's not hitting him Momochi. with any big yeah he isn't he's kind of wow that does so much chip wow Ata just steamrolled Momochi Logan that was a bullying he just yeah he that's the he literally bullied that was a bullying he basically imposed all of his will on Momochi and the confidence must be sky high after getting the knockdown and then going for a DP on his opponent's wake yeah. up and it hit Psychologically, Momochi's got to be careful. Remember, this is our finalist from last year. Yeah. Played a big part in that fantastic final we saw. Wow. Star 4. Oh my god, Aita is so unpredictable. Oh, 
Wow, there we go. Now he's starting to occupy a bit of that space, and you see him run straight into the target combo. Good punish <laughs> and activation. That is minus five. Yeah, Momochi has now adjusted. You're seeing him challenge that forward momentum, that pressure from Ata, occupying a bit of space. Oh, and beautiful. Again, he He's anticipating out, the movement now. Yeah, he threw out that crouch and medium kick a few times, and that, that roundhouse, even just throwing out back medium punch a couple of times as well. His control. Expecting Ata to just rush in, but Ata just will not be put off at no, all. No, he won't. He, he'll stick to his game. He'll still do his crazy stuff. Look at this. It's like they're playing two different characters. There's one Ken just desperately trying to get in, and the other one's trying to control him. Such clean play here from Momochi this game. Really slowing down a lot of Aether's craziness and they catch it with a crouch medium super. Max range. Complete domination. What a game. That was so one-sided. After getting absolutely steamrolled, Woo. he goes and steamrolls. Aether back. So impressive. Two completely different play styles here of Ken. Oh man. You're seeing Aether just basically oh, holding forward on the stick at all times <laughs> yeah, like, he doesn't care man that's his style and momochi playing a much more reserved nice style. Cross -cut. wakes up with a back roll what's he gonna stick keeping those buttons on the screen but wasn't ready that time got caught with a throw and another one wow wake up dp to stuff from momochi lance oh he had the counter hit too far for the conversion wow what's Ooh, that that was ex tattoo, tattoo. Man, Ata tries the most crazy stuff. But he's winning this he's round so far. He's not stopping as well. Bro, no, counter hit. Oh, good bait. Gonna lose a lot of damage here as Momochi. Took a big gamble with that DP. Ata can go into match point if he can close it out here. Oh, nice block on the edge. Oh, he's gonna he's die. Gonna it off. Oh, 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 oh. Nice stuff there opening. from Momochi. Good patience. Great block on the empty jump cross up low. What was that? Crash medium activation? Crash medium punch? Crash medium punch, yeah. Such a good activation. Just backed away from the block string. Stuck the crash medium punch out. Oh, Whoa! and again, there it is. Momochi. No! People have been saying this guy is yet to perform in a major. This could be his time. Okay. The is Contact actually discuss. able to deal with his Ooh. own medicine there. Yeah, he reacted well to the, to the run there. Unlike a lot of the guys today up against him. Nice! But what's your match down. point here? Oh, this time he does the DP again and it hits and the overhead! Complete control! Momochi takes it! Every time Ata activated off the crouching medium punch, he always forced the issue afterwards with the frame advantage. Pressing a button. Momochi identifier that blows through with the DP. He picked up on Ata's stubbornness and just yeah. exploited it fourfold. Uh, if Ata had changed it up a bit there, he could have really caught Momochi off guard. Because Momochi was playing in accordance to Ata's game. Yes. And Ata's game was just like it's charged. Entirely reactive. Yeah, just, just charge down and, and go crazy. You know, if he'd have slowed it down a bit, might have thrown Momochi off his strategy. But he stuck to rushing him down. <sighs> uh, up next, I think I saw Fudo is going up against... Shen. Shen, there we go. That'll be a good oh, one. So Shen looking... One. Two players that have really been on top of their game today, really looking were these guys solid. Teammates yesterday? I think they were teammates yesterday. I'm not sure. Round one. Fight. Oh, man. Well, this is going to be a good one. Is fun. I don't know how to call that one actually. I mean, I think that's going to be half a fang, of course, but you know. I don't really know. There's no way Shen doesn't have like specific ways to keep her honest. Well, Shen is traveling all over the place, all around the world, and wherever you go, there is at least one annoying Mika that can ruin your day. So he will definitely have put some time into that match right No, I think as well. I think Luffy's style of Mika will be more effective against Shen than maybe Fudo's with. Fudo's patient, you know, honest style of getting in. You know, demand stroke Luffy style of playing Mika. To kind of like, I don't care, I'm just gonna charge in and do damage. And just, I'm gonna lose health getting in, but eventually I'm gonna be plus frames and you're gonna have to deal with me. That style, I think, is is Fang's life against against the most average character? So just imagine what it's going to be like against the Miko who plays like that. You know he can play like that against a Ryu, who's just literally charging in and he's anti-ed Ryu ten times, and then Ryu gets finally an open jump in and kills him. 
imagine if it's Mika. It's going to be ten times worse. So we'll see how we'll see what approach um, Fudo has. I saw like a calculated rush down um, approach mm. against Arturo Sanchez. Did you see that first of five? Oh, in uh, yes, I did. Yes, you saw. You saw. So it was very consistently charging in, but it was calculated. It wasn't mindless. It was. Yeah, it wasn't overextending. No, taking no. any huge risks, but it was constant pressure, constant solid pressure. And his choice to attack with a roll was just covering so many options. Yeah. And then he relied on his amazing reactions to punish things like yeah, teleport and so forth. So I think he'll have a similar strategy against someone like Fang, but of course with with different buttons and different gettings. Let's see. I mean, uh, if I had to call this one, Logan, I'd say Fudo's gonna be in a good position but I would Shen, say no has got to be the favourite in this Razor versus Razor but we'll see we're here to call the action not predict it you are predicting all day it's the bet on it oh. safe jump oh, gets the back for it nice pressure Fudo's so good at interrupting with that stand medium punch oh wow that's an illegitimate you see against her the clap Yeah, having to use the EX V or just the EX um projectile just to get her to be honest when he activates it. Nice. Wow. That's nice reversal. What now? Oh the me medium punch catches him. Have to respect the pressure from Mika. Maybe try to hold up back. Whatever it was, it wasn't the right decision. Good first round there from um and already I'm seeing a few matchup specific things that oh it hits a chunk of health he loses for that nice interruption oh uh -huh. tried to bait the stand throw but maybe a bit too close just extended his uh, grabbable box did that grab too early I think still in block stun oh just claps out of nowhere <coughs> no no and the juggle for the kill. Did Jeez. you see that confirm, Logan? That was sick. No. Jab V trigger, EX shooting Peach. That was brutal. I didn't I even realize really Shen was dead. I really love how he uses that V trigger as a combo extension as well. Yeah, he just goes for the guaranteed damage. He doesn't sick. even use the mix up so much. <laughs> well, he's just relying on his like solid ground game just to, 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 to get past having to even mix you up. It's just. A lot of fangs like stuff it's just not as relevant against Mika man the whole tap into the projectile just doesn't doesn't control her at all she's got an answer for it oh man this is stun here if he gets hit one more time he gets thrown again there's no mercy here from Fudo got wrench power bombs left right and center oh man <laughs> and exactly as you predicted this is really well, uphill for fang in this matchup yeah, it's like all of his matchups in terms of like, you know, him getting murdered when he get when they get in. However, there's not really a period where he's keeping her out. No. Oh no, she's got that too and it trades with the anti-air. Oh gosh. This looks horrible. Nice juggle. That tiny bit of reward. Oh, oh it just, just goes for it. it anyway. He's got armor. Let's just throw it out there. Nice. Good punish. Best nice. round so far here from Shen. And he's playing an aggressive style to keep the pressure on. Nice punish. Beautiful play. Made so many correct reads. I really liked his use of the EX Nish Nishki. Fireball. EX <laughs> Fireball, anyway. Um, to make it safe for him to approach, it allows him to jump in afterwards. Great stuff. And we just saw for the first time Fun really laying that pressure down. How oh, he's in, he's in big trouble. He's in big trouble, Logan. Oh, didn't throw him to the corner. Just count his lucky stars. Yeah, it's a great approach. Oh, lovely conversion off that short. Oh, and again. Could get stunned here if he's not careful. Cannot get this next guess wrong. Fudo on the verge of taking Shen out. Oh, he gets him. Oh, and Fudo. Spent the entire the round getting hit. Shen. Center losers, and you're seeing the struggle that he's going through with this character, Fang. Wow, that was brutal. <coughs> I, I don't know, man. Such a talented player who's been so dominant. I mean, the last time those two played, it was a pretty fantastic performance from Shen in Street Fighter 4. Last yeah. time I saw them play in, uh, in Kuwait. To, to see Fudo be 
beat Shen so one-sidedly just tells me, and I don't want to be the pessimist, I don't want to sound too negative, but... He told Shen me one more month. Is that what he said? He said, one more, give me one more month. Because that, 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 that beatdown that you just saw, the gap in, 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 the, level, in the level of play, that, that doesn't actually represent the gap between the talent, the, mm -hmm. the talent of both those players. It really didn't. It was, it was a misrepresentation. It's just... That's just oh, I don't know. I I believe in character loyalty, but to a to an extent, yeah, that was horrible. I I, I don't know, Shen man. Shen, we love you. <laughs> one more month, okay? We'll give you one more month. All right, that's enough. I can't I can't take this anymore. <laughs> all right, what have we got coming up next? But Fudo advances on, and you know he's looked so impressive all day. Like he's playing a very solid style. If Takedo and Fudo aren't on the same side, I haven't seen the bracket, and I imagine those guys would be my favourites to get to the. The winners final mm. at, uh, uh, went to, I'm Sunday. looking forward to wherever they end up linking up because to be honest with you I think they're the only two players that are able to take each other out mm. today you don't see anyone Just else beating, beating Takedo you had some close you had a very close set with NBR hmm? controversial set with NBR <laughs> controversial to NBR's disadvantage because yeah. he had the super you know he had yeah, the of course. life leader um, at least he won that round, didn't he? So he did win that round. But yeah, I, I think, you know, for me, I think Tokido and uh, Fudo have to be the, the two most impressive players I've seen today. <coughs> um, so we'll be back to the Versus stage. Okay. One, one more time. And uh, pro pro the, the next match will be probably Luffy versus Problemix. Okay, loses oh, bracket. Loses bracket, yeah. Shame, a European has to be eliminated at this point in the loser's bracket. Most likely, we're going to see Luffy versus Problem X. Wait, hold on. You told me Problem X was eliminated. I thought Problem X was eliminated. Glad that he wasn't. Oh, thank heaven for that. That's great news. So KX sent Problem to the loser's bracket? And then Problem stayed alive? Without playing KX? That doesn't make sense. I'm not sure. Okay, we'll wait and see. See what you guys are saying on the stream. You can chat. check the challenge anyway. It's online. Right, guys, just going to switch up the location. Bear with us. Yeah, we will be returning back to the Versus setup, which we've been on for most of the day. Let's have a quick look at this uh, challenge bracket. Yeah, right now I'm on the challenge trying to find... Is this information? 